Good morning, church. It's Pastor Ryan here with our daily office reflection. Sorry, I stood, stared at the screen. I was waiting things for things to load up. Um, <clears throat> but today we're doing a daily office reflection, not necessarily from the psalm, um, because we recently did a little reflection from that psalm. Um, good morning, Ron. Glad to see you here. Uh, This morning we're going to look at the 1 Corinthians chapter 10 passage. Um, And I'm going to focus in on one verse in particular. Um, But in uh, in this chapter, Paul is talking to the Corinthians about Um, the worship of idols and eating meat sacrificed at idols. Um, So it was not uncommon for the meat to be sacrificed at a a pagan temple, and then it might get sold at the market. That was one of the things that they did at this time. Um, And Paul has previously said that if what I eat causes my brother to fall, I will never eat meat again. And then he goes on to say that to compare the sharing of food sacrificed to idols to uh, the Lord's Supper. Um, And then he he uses that example as an occasion to teach that all things are lawful, but not all things are beneficial. All things are lawful, but not all things build up. Uh, Depending on what translation you may read this in, uh, I'm reading it in the NRSV, and in that translation we have uh, all things are lawful in parentheses. So people are saying, all things are lawful, or I can do all things. And Paul is saying, but they're not beneficial, and they don't build up. Um, he says, we're not to seek our own advantage, but that of each other. Eat with whatever is sold in the meat market without raising, raising any question on the ground of conscience, for the earth and, the, and its fullness are the Lord's. And if an unbeliever invites you to a meal and you are disposed to go, eat whatever is set before you without raising any question on the ground of conscience. So he's saying, if you've been invited to share a meal at somebody's house, go there. Um, that that we are to care for the unbeliever but if someone says you this has been offered in sacrifice then do not eat it out of consideration for the one who informed you and for the sake of conscience i mean the other's conscience not your own for why should my liberty be subject to someone else's conscience if i partake with thankfulness why should i denounce be denounced because of that which i give thanks so whatever we eat or drink whatever you do do everything for the glory of the lord yeah. Give no offense to Jews or Greeks or to the church of God, just as I try to please everyone in everything I do, not seeking my own advantage, but uh, that of the many, so that they may be saved. Be imitators of me as I am of Christ. So do everything for the glory of God. Um, I think that is an excellent, excellent statement, and it is not necessarily an easy statement to follow. Uh, to do everything for the glory of God. Um, But, and so I wanted to give a little bit of practical guidance on that. Um, I spoke yesterday about the kingdom of God and living into the kingdom of God and how it is realized. And Emmy was like, but in self-quarantine, what does that mean? Like, do we just pray and call people? And I said, well, kind of. That's about all we can do. Um... But there is a little bit more. Um, We still are going to be hosting the pantry this Thursday. We're looking at a safe way of doing that. Um, Hopefully, y'all, look, isn't he being so cute? Like, you just looked up at me. Everybody's going to watch this, not for me or for what the Bible says, but just to look at you, you little stud. Yeah, yeah. So we're still going to be hosting the pantry this Thursday. Um... If you're on seeing this, then you get on Facebook. Uh, One thing you could do is reach out to people who maybe you've lost contact with. Um, Just say, hey, how can I pray for you? How can I be there for you in this time of weirdness? Um, So you could use this time to reach out to people. That would be a way of pursuing the kingdom of God. Another thing that you could be doing is for those who know how to sew, uh, I've been informed that there is a need for uh, masks for EMS. 
Um, and I'm going to be talking more about that later today. Um, so stay tuned for that. But if you know how to sew, would you please contact me if you're willing to make some masks for those who work in EMS? Um, they're, they're, I think we need to keep those people safe. Um, so if you want to help with that, that'd be a great way to help. If you have any other ideas of how you can seek the kingdom of God or how in this time of, of separation, how you can... Um, how you can do everything for the glory of God. Maybe uh, as I asked that question, I thought of, of one more. So maybe write in the comments, how can you seek the glory of God and all things while not being able to get around to, to each other? Um, so the one other idea I had is that our bodies are God's temple. And so rather than eating junk food and watching a lot of TV, maybe we find ways of exercising and eating healthy. Um, perhaps that's a way that we can live into the kingdom of God. Um, it's not necessarily serving the neighbor, but us being healthy um, helps our neighbors because they don't have to worry about our health. So I um, hope you're having a great day. I hope that you will heed the instructions from Paul and that you will do everything today for God's glory, not for your own. God bless you and take care.